My mom is half Italian, so I kind of have a soft spot for classic Italian food. This recipe was a request from a viewer, the cult classy. She asked me to make something from Italy. Excellent suggestion. Immediately, I thought of my favorite Italian dessert, ricotta cheesecake. It's totally different from the typical cheesecake we eat in the US, which I'm not really a big fan of. Instead of cream cheese, this cake is made entirely with ricotta cheese. The result is a cheesecake that's incredibly light and fluffy, not at all heavy or overly creamy like New York cheesecake. If you were to order cheesecake in Italy, this is what they'll bring you. Ricotta cheese comes out of the tub with a lot of liquid. Draining the liquid before working with the cheese will help make the cake fluffy and not weighed down by moisture. About 30 minutes in a strainer over a bowl. Make sure you have a lot of eggs on hand. You'll need six. Separate the yolks from the whites and save both of them. Lemon zest is a classic Italian ingredient and it adds so much flavor with very little effort. When you're zesting the lemon, make sure you collect only the yellow outer layer and not the bitter white part underneath. Add the zest and two cups of the drained ricotta cheese into the egg yolks. As it combines, it will turn this beautiful buttery yellow color. Combine the yolk mixture and all the dry ingredients. Flour, sugar, and matzo meal. I know that one's not traditional, but it's gonna add fluffiness by helping to soak up the moisture. The six egg whites need to be whipped until they're stiff, which usually takes about three minutes in the stand-up mixer set to high. This is the important step. Fold the egg whites into the yolk mixture in portions. Scrape around the sides and the bottom of the bowl, then fold the mixture up and over the whites. You don't want to simply stir here because by stirring, you'll mix out all the air from the egg whites and the whole thing will just fall flat. Since this cheesecake doesn't actually have a crust, a springform pan is best. It'll help retain the shape of the cake. One hour in the oven at 375. You know it's done when it's browned and the edges have pulled away from the sides. Pop open the springform pan and let the cake cool down. The end result is a cheesecake that's lemony, light, and just the right amount of cheesy and sweet. In short, it's my definition of la dolce vita anywhere. Now you send me a suggestion. Give me a country or the specific dish that you want to see, and I'll make it just for you. See you next week.